This was a morning commute no one saw coming. When we first got the call out, I, uh, I actually looked up on some of the news sources and we saw some of the video footage. So we kind of knew going in, but it was a wow factor, absolutely. As 11 protesters dangled off the side of the Fred Hartman Bridge, this team was called upon to get them down. I would put it there on this pretty high scale as far as the potential of uh, things could go wrong. The Harris County Sheriff's Office SWAT team says it's gone through numerous rappelling trainings, including going off the side of a bridge. But to remove 11 people, it needed help from not just local agencies, but others across the country, including New York City. Just onto us. They had the tools to make it happen, but they weren't sure how the protesters would react. We had received some intel that they were not going to cooperate. Thankfully, that wasn't the case. One by one, deputies safely removed each person. They wanted to know how we were going to hook up to them, what safety aspects we were going to take. In all, it took more than 12 hours to make it happen, a daring arrest that was done more than 150 feet above the water. In the grand scheme of things, uh, you know, getting shot at or repelling off the side of a building, you know, or, or off the bridge, I'm not sure which one is more dangerous. 